What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. We are back with some more Punching Gray Raven, and there's a few tidbits of information I want to throw out at you all today. And we're also going to fully resonate S. Bianca here. So the first tidbit of information is that we do have Sophia Silverfang in the banner. Now, this is a character that is 80% fire, 20% physical. She is going to be your main support for your fire damage dealing team. Now, there's a good argument, actually, that you really shouldn't even pull for her because, to be honest, as a standalone character, she really isn't that great. I mean, as always, when it comes to PGR, it's always going to come down to your gameplay, the memories that you're using, how high you have her leveled up. But, you know, she is going to be a, a good character for your fire team in Warzone. I've seen people do very, very good scores having her on their fire team with S. Karenina and S. Nanami. And that's the thing, you know, if you have S. Karenina and you have S. Nanami, Maybe you'd want to go ahead and pull for her because you do have the 100% chance to get her after 10 pulls, but you could also just farm her in the interlude, which is, is really what I'd recommend to most of the player base. But I got 500 of these cards, so I'm going to go ahead and just do two pulls. I do have her in a chance up. Just out of curiosity, maybe I'll get her, maybe I won't. We'll go ahead and skip it. We got some cogs, always nice. I mean, Sophia, I played with her a little bit in the interlude. She's not, I mean, she's all right. She's not too bad, but... You know, she, I just don't think she's going to be an ideal character for a lot of players out there. Although, if she is, more power to you. So we didn't get lucky. We didn't get the character at all, which kind of sucks. And then the next tidbit of information that I want to throw out at you guys is in the Eternal Throne, whenever you switch to Abyss, you'll get these cards, you know, throughout the game. And I've already gotten quite a few of these. And, was, and what you can do is you'll go into GTA 1 here, and you're going to be able to get a six-star memory guaranteed for every four of these items that you use. Now... The thing to keep in mind about this thing is one, it says multi-challenge, which you actually, you can't challenge it. Even when I did have 12 of these things, I couldn't multi-challenge, I could only do one at a time. But the thing is, in this stage, there's going to be a physical resistance by 60%. So whenever you use a physical attacking characters like Alpha, uh, S. Lee, they're going to get, they're going to do a lot less damage to this boss than other characters actually i'll show you guys two runs at the end of this video with s bianca and alpha and you're gonna see a huge difference even though my alpha has like 6200 bp fully resonated memories she's got a, this the sakura sword i mean she's she's all she's jacked up pretty damn good and my S Bianca doesn't have any resonating memories on her. She's got around a little over 5,000 BP. And she could easily plow through this because the boss only has a 30% lightning resistance. So you can do a lot more damage with your lightning characters or other characters other than your physical attacking characters. So that is something to keep in mind. So whenever you come in here, best not to really use your physical attacking characters. I mean, at the end of the video, I will show you guys a run with Alpha and Bianca. And yeah, you can absolutely do it with Alpha for sure. But it is way more difficult. You're definitely going to see the difference. And now let's fully resonate S. Bianca's memories. Now, for those of you that are new to resonating, maybe you didn't do it before, maybe you haven't done it to any characters before, you can resonate your weapons or your memories. And the way that you do it is when it comes to weapons, you can use any six star weapon that you choose, you know, whether it's the, you know, a sword, a gun, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a six star weapon, you can actually re resonate another weapon. You just click on, you'd hit train, you'd hit resonance. And then you click on one of these, you'd, I think it'd be two, three, one is the order that you go into, but you would click on this and you can actually look at the skill preview and you can look at the extra bonus that's going to be giving you. Now, in today's video, we're actually just going to be resonating the memories because I don't have any other six star weapons. And this is the difference between a weapon and a memory. With a weapon, you can use any other weapon that you want as long as they're six star. Whereas with memories, you have to use the exact same type of memory to do resonance. So, for example, we've got the Heisen memory here. We'll click on, we hit Train, we hit Resonance, and then we'll click on this slot here. Now, what you want in the top slot is you want this attack. Because Bianca is a lightning damage dealing character, she's 80% lightning, they don't crit. They don't crit worth a damn. That's physical attack. So, you really don't want this, and you really don't want these other orbs. You want attack. You want attack in the top slot, so this is what we're hoping for in the top slot. And in the bottom slot, you whoops, didn't even click on that. You actually want her core passive. You want this one right here. If you do get this attack, that's still pretty good, but this is the number one because whenever you start adding core passives, uh, whenever you start adding resonant core passives, your damage is going to skyrocket. It the, Because that is her main damage. That's where her main damage comes from, is from doing her core passives. It's always going to be the red ping into the blue, and you're going to hit her core passive, and you're just going to go into sniper mode and start just destroying everything so the more core passive 
you have, the better off you're going to be. So let's start off with the top and click. And since you have four memories that you're resonating, you're going to need two memories each. So we'll click on this. We'll hit resonate. Here we go. All right. That's exactly what we want. And another thing is whenever you're resonating six star memories or six star weapons, they bind to a specific character. So these extra stats that we're getting only bind to Bianca. If I put this memory on another character, they'll get the stats in the character, but they're not going to get this extra attack. They will not get these they will not get these binded stats. So there's something to keep in mind whenever you resonate memories. Anytime you resonate a memory or a weapon that's six star, make sure it's equipped on the character that you want to benefit from those extra stats. So now we're going to try to get that core passive. Man, please, 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 please. Give me that core passive. Give me that core passive. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Ah, signature move. I mean, that's okay. Your signature move does a lot of damage, but that isn't what you want. You want core passive. You want core passive all day, every day. And then you see this little icon that shows they are resonated. So we'll click on this one here. Let's see what happens. Come on, man. Give me that attack. Give me that attack. And, you know, we got a lot of time in this event. We could actually farm for more memories. Oh, Blue Orb, that sucks, but terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. We want, we wanted attack, but now we want core passive. Signature move again. Crap. We're not getting very lucky at all. We're not getting what we want. And this is kind of the thing about resonating. And you can always, you know, resonate again. You know, if you're not happy with a stat, you can just use another memory of the same type and resonate again if you want to try to change the stat, which is eventually what I'm probably going to do because this is shit. This is absolute crap. Basic attack. No, nah, that's, yeah, you don't want that. We want, we want attack. We want attack. All right, here we go. Jesus, signature moves loving me. What is going on with the signature moves? No, no, no. Uh-uh. I want freaking attack, you peckers. What are you guys doing to me? Oh, God. Red orb. I'm going to have to re-roll almost every one of these damn things because these are just crap. I didn't get one core passive. I mean, this is okay, right? It's attack, but I mean, it's definitely better than what we was getting. That's for sure. This is a second place, second place option compared to the core passive. But luckily we got some Frederick ones here too. So let's go ahead and resonate these and let's, let's hope for the best, man. Let's hope for the best. Come on now. Come on now. I even got an extra Frederick for alpha. Oh, red or oh, crap. I never get lucky on these things at all. I don't think anybody really does. I mean, it's okay. Really, we want to attack on top. We want it on top. We want core passive on bottom. But, I mean, it's it's something. The crit, I don't mean jack. That crit isn't helping at all. Okay. If it is, slightly. Barely. Not enough to be happy about, I can tell you that. But the extra attack is nice. Man, red orb again. I'm getting jacked. I am severely getting jacked. I'm going to have to re-roll a bunch of these. This is complete shite. This is whatever. This junk. That's going to be the first one that I actually re-roll. Matter of fact, we're going to re-roll it right now. Core passive. Holy crap. That's what we want. That's what we want. Yes, core passive. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. And we had 5,400 BP before, and now we got 5,793. So it, does, it makes a huge difference to resonate your memories, man. It's going to add a lot of BP. It's going to give you a lot of extra stats. It's going to make your characters a lot more powerful. If we would have got core passes on them bottom slots for every one of these memories and got attack on the top slots, this would have looked even better. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys those couple runs in the abyss with Espianca and Alpha. And let me know if you resonated your memories and what kind of stats you got. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.